Stop doing your current arm routine if you're not seeing the results. Why do something if it's not working? Let's change it up a little bit. I change things up all the time. If you're not seeing the results that you think you should be seeing, then you're doing something wrong. In this video, I'm going to show you three different supersets for your arms, your biceps and your triceps that I incorporate into my videos. It's going to be a bicep and a tricep exercise, one right after the other, to help pump up your arms and give you that skin splitting pump. Let's take this shit show into the gym. All right, I'm going to show you three different types of supersets that I do for buys and tries. The first one is going to be hammer curls. There's three different variations of hammer curls. You pick the variation that you want. I'm going to take these dumbbells, I'm going to hold them to my side, and I'm going to start like this. Nice and easy, good hard contraction, squeezing at the top. One of the variations you can do, turn the wrist as you get to the top and go down. A lot of times I drop set hammer curls, okay? I drop set these. Another variation is going across the body, just like this. These will help fill out the brachialis and go into the side of the forearm to give you that Popeye the Sailor forearm look. Okay? So when I'm done with the hammer curls, I'm going to go over to a push down for triceps. But when I'm, when I'm drop setting this, I'll start at 20 pounds and then I'll go reps to failure, go to 15 pounds, reps to failure, go to 10 pounds, reps to failure. I can take this into close to the 100 repetition range. And you want to talk about your biceps screaming? Holy shit, man, like no other. Okay, this is going to give you that pump. So I would do hammer curls, then I would go to the push downs that I'm going to show you in just a second. Then I go back to hammer curls, do another round of drops to failure, back to push downs. I would do this about three rounds on this superset. So let's take this over to the uh, tricep pushdown area. All right, next exercise I'm going to do in this superset, we just come over here from doing hammer curls. This is just like a tricep pushdown that you would do with a bar or a rope. The difference is this strap allows me two different variations, okay? I use the top one. I put my hands in here and it puts me exactly where I want to be, chest high. Now I will do this in a drop set so my weight's going to be heavier when I start this exercise. I'm only using 20 pounds now for demonstrations. What I'm going to do is bring the weight right here and I am going to do this with partial reps. I'm going to come down and come right back up and squeeze each repetition and I'm just going to keep pumping these reps out. I'm not coming up any higher than my chest. My elbows are close to my body and all I'm doing is pushing these tricep extensions down. And I'm opening up at the bottom, just like this. You can't do this with the bars. You can do this with the rope, but unless you have a rope that's made especially for this height, it makes it a lot more difficult. Not that it's impossible, just more difficult. This strap is perfect for me being, I'm almost six foot three. So this is the perfect position for me to just get in here and keep pumping these reps out, okay? I would do this drop set, three drops. Then I would go back to hammer curls, do three drops. Back here, three drops. Back there, three drops. I would do three rounds of this. And talk about that skin splitting pump. This is gonna do it right here. I'm gonna show you another bicep tricep superset that I do. Let's go over to the next exercise. All right, I'm over here on an incline bench. We're gonna do spider curls. Spider curls are a total bicep isolation exercise. I incorporated it back into my bicep routine last month and man it is just a plus bicep workouts it really kicks my ass when i do these what i'm going to do is grab this bar it's a stripped out an olympic bar and i'm grabbing it in the middle and i'm letting the bar come down 
and all I'm doing is curling and squeezing the bicep at the top. This is total bicep isolation. Each repetition, squeeze up and down, all controlled. Continuous repetitions. I would put two five pound plates on the end of these and then I would do a drop set. I would do the first set as many as I could, then I'd strip a five pound plate off, then do the next set as many as I could, and then I would rep it out with this Olympic bar. And man, when I tell you, your biceps are screaming. Oh my God. This is a tremendously effective exercise and one that I like to superset a lot with. Just like this, spider curls. Whoever invented this exercise, gets high marks from me. Great exercise. All right, we're gonna take this over to the next exercise. All right, this is the other exercise. Tricep lockout, similar to what a skull crusher would be. I'm using the same handles that I used on the tricep push downs earlier, okay? I grab my handles. They're at the very bottom of the handle. My elbows are tight in towards my head and I lock out just like this. I would use my first starting weight, something that I can get a good 25 or more reps out of, and then I would drop the weight, one plate, rep it out to failure, drop the weight again, one plate, rep it out to failure, and so on. Just like this, total tricep isolation, very similar to skull crushers with the bar, okay? When I'm done here, on this variation of the superset, I would go right into the spider curls again. Do my drops there, then come back right here. Like I said, I would do at least two to three rounds of this, okay? So follow me over here. We're gonna do the last set of bicep, tricep supersets. So let's take it over to the other side. All right, the next superset I like to do is more of a concentration exercise. I use a kettlebell. Now you can do concentration curls with a dumbbell. You can do them bent over, isolating the bicep. I like to grab a single kettlebell and I don't hold it in the palm of my hand. I kind of hold it at the base of my fingertips, right where the fingertips or the fingers join the palm of the hand. And I hold it in the top position and I'm squeezing the bicep at the top and I'm coming down and I'm squeezing just like this. This is kind of a finishing exercise for biceps, just like this. Nice and easy, total isolation of the biceps, kettlebell concentration curl. You could do it bent over if you want, I choose to do it seated. And when you get the number of reps that you feel you're comfortable with, you switch it and you go to the other side. All right, the last exercise I would do on this uh, superset as a finishing exercise, is single arm kettlebell tricep lockouts, almost like the skull crushes, but with a kettlebell. I would take the kettlebell, I'd put my arm over my head, just like you would do a skull crusher, and you just pull up. Push up, squeeze the tricep, just like this. If you wanna use your opposite hand for a brace to keep the arm from moving all over the place, you can do that, just like this. Nice and easy, get the nice tricep stretch back here on the way down, come up and lock it out, just like that. Nice finishing exercise. That and the kettlebell concentration curl I just showed you, great finishing exercise when you're doing the supersets. Now to wrap this video up, I showed you three different variations of supersets for biceps and triceps. You could do this as a full workout, supersetting everything I just showed you, or you can add this superset to your existing workout. Experiment it a little bit. Nothing's etched in stone that you have to do barbell curls and preacher curls and, and dumbbell curls. Yes, they're great exercises, but there's so many more things that you could experiment with to see what's gonna spark your bicep and tricep growth. So, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I have a PDF link in this description. It's a PDF file for a journey to get you started on your way to a healthy lifestyle. 
I also have a link in the description for my own training courses that go over all the basic exercises in great detail. So until next time, I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.